Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Chris Cuomo has his mind completely broken by what Ice Cube has to say about BLM and Donald Trump. With all that going on and how the president continues to speak about there being no systemic inequality, it's no shock that Ice Cube got some heat for deciding uh, to work with the Trump administration. He wants to deal with it. I want to understand it. So, so should you. So here is Ice Cube on prime time. Thank you for taking the opportunity, brother. I appreciate it. Brother? Thanks for having me, uh, Chris. Uh, your lead-ins are a little misleading. How so? Um, well, the platinum plan is not my plan. I came up with the contract with Black America, um, and... I didn't run to go work with any campaign. Both campaigns contacted me. Both campaigns wanted to talk to me about the contract with Black America. One campaign said, we love what you have, but let's really dig into it after the election. And one campaign said, we love what you have. Uh, what, do you mind talking to us about it? And that's what I did. So I didn't run to nobody. And uh, so that was real misleading to me. Um, well, I didn't say you ran you know, to anybody. I said that you had taken a pivot. Well, you, you, you said I ran over to the Trump team instead of the Biden team. That's just not true. Uh, well, they both but you are working with me. the Trump team instead I, of the Biden team and people are giving you heat for it. What do you say to them? Well, I'm willing to work with both teams, but I'm just working with whoever is willing to work with me. So the Trump campaign came to me and asked me to explain to them some of the uh, contract with Black America, that's what I did. I'm not playing no more of these games, these political games. We're not part of a team. We have very broad problems, especially the wealth gap in this country when it comes to Black Americans. So I'm going to whoever's in power, and I'm going to speak to them about our problems specifically. I'm not going there talking about minorities. I'm not going there talking about people of color or diversity or none of that stuff. I'm going there for black Americans, the ones who are the descendants of slaves. And that's what I'm going to talk to anybody who's in power with that. So if anybody got a problem with that, it seems like a personal problem. Well, here's the problem. And it is very personal, personal, as you know, for a lot of people of color, because they'll say, well, why would you pick Trump when he says there's no such I'm thing as systemic nobody. inequality? Say that? not picking nobody. He's the president. But why He's do you think president. he'd want to do something for the community when he says there's no such thing as systemic inequality? I don't know what he want to do. I just know what the man said. I know what he said to the country. There are times that I feel truly bad for Chris Cuomo. And, and, and I do because he had to work for CNN. He had to sit there and while he is a fairly curious person, he's not a deeply curious person. Uh, Bill Maher is not a curious person. They're smart enough to articulate. They're smart enough to realize that there are problems going on, but they aren't smart enough to ask good questions. Right? They, they, they can't do what Tucker does. And so what Ice Cube is basically telling him is, I'm working with whoever's in power, man. I, I'm going to do that because I care about my community. That is unfathomably based. Good for Ice Cube. I, I didn't think I'd ever end up saying something like that because when you quite literally write a song saying F the police, I'm going to have a few problems. But he understands that he's trying to help out his people. Hey, y'all, as we know, you don't put all your eggs into one basket, right? So that's why I'm partnering over with my friends at Colonial Metals Group who will help diversify your portfolio. And what they'll do is they'll set up for you a self-directed IRA account. You'll have direct access to your assets. You'll be able to see what all's going on. And it doesn't matter what the stock market does or what often happens, what the government does, your assets will be protected. So let the team of experts over at Colonial Metals Group help secure your account and your family's future today. There's a link in the description below. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like that, there's a 1-800 number you can call. And most importantly though, is the kicker. They'll throw in a safe and possibly up to $10,000 in U.S. silver to help you get things started. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. And he's going to do that and not sacrifice anything at the altar. That's pretty awesome. And the reason why I really feel bad for Chris Cuomo is that he's stuck on CNN. And if you notice during this clip, 
Chris Cuomo is trying to frame a question incorrectly in order to generate views and outrage. That's what the media does. The mainstream media has one hope, that you see the headline and you click on it. Now granted, we kind of do this here too. We have to. This is, this is the hand that we're dealt. But when you run a false headline, lead people in the wrong direction, and then you basically get slapped around because you misled the, pe the people by a guest like Ice Cube, this should be a question of, hmm, this should be a question of ethics. Should I be doing this? Should I be talking in this manner? And because people like Chris Cuomo are not truly curious people, they will not come to this conclusion. They will instead allow themselves to be sabotaged in order to get that money. That's the goal. It's not about truth, it's about making money. I'm going to be honest, even Fox News figured that out. That's why they pandered to the boomers. That, that's what they do. They pandered to the conservative boomers because that's where a lot of money was. Because so many other organizations weren't doing this. The other organizations got mad, and that's now why they all hate Fox News. Because how dare they break their stranglehold. And something similar is happening with Ice Cube. What he's trying to get at is, we've got a current president in power, I'm going to work with him. Why not? What have you got to lose? And as a matter of fact, Donald Trump has delivered for the black community more than Joe Biden, more than Barack Obama did. 12 years of presidents versus four years of a president. Guess who got the better deal in four years? Donald Trump funded HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities. He then passed a law called the Economic Opportunity Zones. Or rather, that's not the name of the law itself, but that's what it established. Basically, you get a federal tax break if you open up a business in these zones. These zones targeted two major regions of the United States. Inner city and local black populations and rundown rural areas. It worked. It was an amazing plan. And a constant reminder, y'all, that tax breaks, they work. Trickle-down economics actually works. Funny. Funny how that happens. And then when you cut taxes, you open up the cash flow, more businesses come up, you get more revenue. It's literally an infinite money glitch. And the Democrats don't want to hear that because they are deeply uncurious people. They, they, they just aren't. They aren't willing to look at the issues, look at the situations, and then think of actual policies. They, 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 because they can't. They, they just have this mental barrier created by our public education system. They are educated, but can't understand these basic tenets, these basic ideas. And instead of wondering, hmm, what are we doing wrong? They play the blame game. Why? It's, again, the dichotomy of the ruling class and the dominant class. The dominant class used to be rich, white, Anglo-Saxon Protestants. It is now rich, white liberals and their children. And the ruling class has realized we can have stability if we cater to the dominant class. The media caters to the dominant class. The CIA, the FBI, caters to the dominant class. And they will persecute people outside of this class and get away with it. Congress caters to the dominant class. Because if the dominant class gets antsy, they come after the ruling class every single time. That is history in a nutshell. And Ice Cube is out there saying, we are not the dominant class and we need some help. And the Democrats are out there just wondering, <laughs> y'all need help? What are, we, we give you crumbs. We, we give you, you know, social safety nets. Why, why aren't you considering us more? Because they're realizing that the Republican mantra, what Donald Trump is offering, the Republicans and Donald Trump are offering freedom. The Democrats are offering a plantation. People, deeply curious people, will look at that and go, I'm picking the freedom option. And that's why they're hemorrhaging support in black and brown communities. And I am here for it. It is absolutely amazing to watch. And Chris Cuomo has his mind melted by this because he can't fathom a world when people are leaving his beloved plantation. And that's what Ice Cube is doing here. And Ice Cube is being true to himself. He's being authentic. This is a fantastic clip, one of the better ones out there. And it goes to show that the Democrats don't know what they're doing. 
ultimately, they used to say this about Republicans. Democrats can't govern. They're terrible at it. Don't vote for them. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed the segment here on Politibrol. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.